South Bend, another edition of ND Lax TV. I'm going to throw this out a few days before our upcoming National Coaches Clinic. This will be a drill that we'll talk about for the coaches that are attending our clinic this week and with, in a little bit more in depth than we'll do here on this session. But I want to talk you through this drill, which is a classic drill that we do probably once or twice a week once we get into our season. It's something that high school and youth coaches will face pretty consistently, a dodge that forces a slide, and then a throw-throw to the backside of the field, and really focusing on the footwork, the communication, and the approaches that you need to make to survive that kind of situation, because it's something that you're going to face 10 to 15 times in every game that you play in your season. So let's take a look at the, uh, the way it's laid out. See people in the drill. Again, all of our defensemen are playing the roles of the offensive players, and you'll see that on the video clip when we get to the end of the video. Uh, we're going to start with a dodge, and we're going to determine that we're going to slide to a dodge. It could be a fast dodge, it could be a dodge and a bounce and a late turn in, but we're going to slide from this guy and try to meet him at a good angle. Right? We're going to have this uh, attackman, the defenseman play the role of attackman, roll over. We'll get that transfer pass, so that's the first throw, the throw throw survivor. And then what you do with this midi and this crease offensive player is completely up to you. You may customize it and cater it to your opponent. But in the clip that you're going to see, we're going to get a fill cut from this midi. And he may try to seal OBD here, or he may try to interfere with the recovery defenseman, defender who's OB, who starts originally on the ball. So we get a dodge, we get a slide. This on ball defenseman is going to peel off, right, and recover to the crease. And we're going to get an exchange here. This guy's going to leave, and this guy's going to fill. And so this guy's going to catch the ball, and during that exchange, this guy's going to curl out. He's going to throw that transfer pass, the second pass. So you see the throw, throw part of the drill. We're going to focus on in the video, and the teaching points when we teach this drill is the efficiency with which OBD, oh, the on-ball defenseman recovers, the coordination of how we communicate this fill cut, and we accept this new pass and make this approach. So the approach that's going to take place right about here is going to be about a five or six short approach, which is really challenging. And how do you make this guy a double move? Are you going to try to push him toward the middle of the field where we have some support? Are you going to try to force him underneath where we might have some support? And then we're going to slide to that. So our on-ball guy is going to go from being on-ball, recovering to the crease, and then making this kind of slide. So that's a really challenging part. And what you're trying to teach your defenders is you peeled off of being on the ball, you can't relax. Because the cleanliness of this pass, the first pass and the second pass, is, is equated to the speed with which it gets to the backside. And the speed with, it gets, with which it gets to the backside is going to make this approach that much more difficult. So when you see it on the film, you'll see the communication, you'll see the fill cut, You'll see the original on ball defender peel off, recover to the crease, and that then have to make his next slide decision. So let's talk about the coaching points. Like I said, starting off, there's eight people in the drill. They're going to be played, uh, the roles are going to be played by our um, long stick defenders as well as our D middies. We're going to designate, you're going to slide to a certain dodge or a certain part of the field. We're going to designate that. There's going to be a dodge and we're going to slide to it. We're going to specify the off ball action. It might be a fill and, a, and an exchange. There could just be, you know, a guy could roll over to the top and another guy could come out. We'll specify it to our opponents. But in the, in the clip that you're going to see, it's going to be a fill. And a, and a guy popping out to the backside. The second dodge, the guy who catches the second pass, the second throw throw, is he's going to, we'll tell him, hey, swim and walk the dog, depending on our opponent. Or split roll, depending on our opponent. Or the things that we most consistently see against an upcoming uh, opponent that we have in the future. And now we're going to predetermine the slide. You're going to go on the first move, you're going to go on the second move, you're going to go on the guy turning his back. So we want to determine our, our ability to read the need to make that slide based on a situation. And so by the time our season comes along, they have a catalog of reads 
of when they're going to have to slide. When the guy turns his back, when he's walking the dog, when he swims, whatever the situation and whatever we foresee in, our, in an upcoming opponent. So that is an eight-person drill. It's something we do as we get into our preseason and, and during the season as well. And again, we're talking about efficiency, we're talking about approaches, we're talking about language, all of which we think helps us play better team defense. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hopefully we'll see you at our coaches' clinic. New value.